Hey guys, my name is Mike Kirchmerick. And I'm Mike Prohaska. You can find us on LinkedIn. This is our CEA12, a final project, and we're looking at the effect of water on slope stability. So, this experiment is actually based off a real life failure that occurred at the Vinat Dam in Vinat, Italy. The failure of the dam, or really its reservoir wall, occurred in 1963. So much water was displaced due to the failure into the reservoir that a tidal wave crashed over the dam itself, destroyed two towns below it, and killed approximately 2,000 people. The first objective of our study was to look at the effect of water on slope stability using the centrifuge and geosope software. We looked at a case with no water, a case with a little bit of water, and a fully saturated case. Our second objective was to compare the centrifuge and software analysis and see if they matched up. To actually model this in GeoSlope to get a base design for the centrifuge, uh, we started out by modeling the full scale occurrence, so approximately 900 foot or 900 meters tall and about 1800 meters wide. Uh, we modeled all the soil types, or really the two primary soil types, as well as the additional slip surface and tension cracks and the pore water pressure that was occurring due to the reservoir. You'll see that uh, the pressure levels are indicated by these rainbow colors and the solid blue kind of triangle is the actual reservoir. Now the red is our expected failure plane. So we simplified these slopes down and we generated a representative material. Then we reapplied the water and to the right you can see our simplified centrifuge model which still includes the water and you can see our new failure plane in green. So using the simplified model that Mike just talked about we tested it in the centrifuge and here we have the results of centrifuge te testing on the left hand side we see the before testing and on the right hand side we see after testing and you can see there's no slope failure the push pins are still in their same place and there is no change in the slope no failure for the dry case for the second case again we see before testing on the left hand side and after testing on the right hand side again we see no slope failure push pins are still in the same place but we do see some settlement as we increased the stress in the moist case we saw about a half an inch of settlement on the slope and finally we have the fully saturated case on the left hand side prior to testing on the right hand side after testing and you can see in the case of the fully saturated soil we did see some slope failure we saw a minor shallow slope failure occurring at the top of the slope and moving the material down to the toe of the slope. Furthermore, after running the fully saturated case, we did notice large tension cracks appearing on the top of the slope. This is it can also indicative of slope failure. Now, we have some overall results based off our geoslope and centrifuge assessments. So geoslope was saying our dry and moist cases should both fail at about 1.12 factor of safety. Uh, in the centrifuge that'd be the equivalency of running it at 112 G's. We also had an estimated failure for the fully saturated case at 1.02 factor safety or 102 G's. In the centrifuge itself we didn't experience failure at 100 G's for both the dry and the moist case and we couldn't actually run the centrifuge higher than this due to safety concerns. We did experience failure in the fully saturated case at 55 and 62 G's both as fail or shallow failures. Now, even though it was shallow in the centrifuge itself, these would have equated out to almost 20 or 30 foot deep of failures in an actual slope of about 100 foot in height. The first conclusion of our study was that we saw only decreased slope stability in the fully saturated case in both the software analysis and the centrifuge. Now, these results generally agreed with each other. So we also have two overarching conclusions from this. The first is that material characterization is key. Uh, we saw that in the Vinat landslide when they misinterpreted the soils underneath of our failure surface and when we modeled in geoslope where we didn't fully understand the strength parameters of our own composite soil. Now this means that a thorough site investigation is absolutely essential to any safe geotechnical design or really any engineering design. So we provided for you guys some of our actual references that we've used in doing this experiment. Uh, if you want to get any other information, you can also feel free to look anywhere online. This has been quite heavily studied or you can contact us on LinkedIn and get some additional information or comment on this YouTube video.